find out the different presentation styles used within different programs. For the first half of the show, we will be focusing on different styles used in different news programs. Then we will move on to some of the types of programs and see how they are presented. The first program that we will be studying is Cafe News. It was first broadcast in 1910 and was one of the first news programs. At first, it used to be shown within cinemas by weekly but as TV was introduced, they finally got their own studio and managed to broadcast the news into people's homes. The programme consists of videos and a voiceover because back then, news presenters were not allowed because they didn't want them to become a TV personality. Here is an example of this presentation stuff using some actual footage from Cafe News and covering the Heidelberg disaster. The LZ-129 Hindenburg, a large German airship, is seen here in air footage just four hours before the end of its ill-fated flight. The Zeppelin was capable of carrying 72 passengers, 40 flight officers and 10 to 12 stewards. It holds the record for the largest object ever to fly with a length of 803.3 feet and with a diameter of 135.1 feet. It commenced on its first flight on March 4, 1936, and sadly had its last flight today, on March 6, 1937. At the time, the Zeppelin was carrying 36 passengers and 61 crew. The first hints of disaster were spotted when spectators claimed to have seen the fabric before the upper fin was fluttering as if there was a gas leak. There are also reports that witnesses noticed blue sparks of electricity moments before the ship came burning down. This is believed to be the root cause of a disaster because the gas used in the airship, being hydrogen, is extremely flammable. This ship was completely destroyed within the space of half a minute. Out of the 36 passengers and 61 crew on board, 13 passengers and 22 crew members lost their lives, including one member of the ground crew. This astonishing airship was meant to make history for being the largest flying object, but has instead made history for all the wrong reasons. Our next news programme is BBC News. It began in 1922 and was shown at 7pm to avoid conflict between newspapers. This news programme has a more serious approach to broadcasting the news. The use of drone in music, the way the presenters address and the way they speak, and the sophisticated studio instantly sets the tone, especially when it comes to the more serious headlines. The presenters are seen as TV personalities, unlike how it used to be in Cafe News when TV producers didn't want the presenters to be known, in fear that it would distract away from the news being told. Here is an example of this more serious approach to news. A year after the star, Jimmy Savile's death has brought up five cases of suspected sexual offences against young girls after five women came to the police accusing the charity fundraiser of sexually abusing them. The search for Apple Jones is still ongoing, but there is still no sign of the missing five-year-old. A procession and a church service were held today in her hometown of McKinley, and her parents have thanked everybody for their support. Thought that doing a standard bungee jump was scary? An Australian skydiver called Felix Baumgartner has decided to take his skill to the extreme by attempting to skydive from the edge of space in an attempt to break the world record for the world's highest freefall. Welcome to the programme. Our main headline. A couple of weeks after the year anniversary of Sir Jimmy Savile's death, accusations from five women have been put forward accusing him of sexual assault. The amount of accusations is expected to rise within the coming weeks. According to police, during an ITV investigation in 2007, accusations were made but were dropped because of a lack of evidence. Oh. 
the BBC has made a statement saying that they have no record of any misconduct. Sir Jimmy Savile was a star of TV and radio for more than 40 years, but now, less than a year after his death, an ITV investigation says five women have come forward with allegations. One says she was raped, others say they were sexually or indecently assaulted. Uh, now we introduce Daybreak. Daybreak is a modern breakfast show, so it follows slightly, slightly different conventions to other news programmes, like BBC News, while still covering the same news stories. The set is bright and consists of the colours red, orange and yellow to represent sunrise. This show is aimed at a wide target of target audience because they cover a bit of everything from politics to the latest celebrity gossip or fashion. So the set has to fit the set has to fit in with this variety and not both seriousness like BBC News was, uh, which is mainly aimed at an older an older audience and covers stories to do with, for example, politics. The presenters on Daybreak are smiling and widely dressed in smart casual clothing in, to tone down the atmosphere when reading the news. In BBC News, all the presenters are wearing suits and look down the camera with, more, with a more serious attire. Daybreak presenters need to be less serious because it is a breakfast show and they need to make people feel they have, have had a nice start to the day. Here are some here are examples of this new style. Good morning, it's 8 o'clock. Welcome to Daybreak on 8th November 2012. On the programme this morning, a desperate plea for Megan's parents for their missing daughter Megan to come home. Also this morning, still no hope for finding missing April Jones as investigations came out today. And finally, the man with no fear from 128,000 feet, a man called Felix Boomgartner, attempted and succeeded in breaking the record for the world's highest freefall. And now it's Natasha with the weather. Thanks Becky, good morning. For most of us, exceptionally wet and windy weather to come. Gale force winds, damaging gusts, persistent rain giving us some very difficult driving conditions. Here for full forecast shortly in the next half an hour. Oh dear, not a great day for the weather again, is it? No, not at all. Now for the news where you are. Now over to Kelly for the headlines. Kelly? Thanks Becky, good morning. The parents of missing Megan Stammers have made an emotional plea for their 15 year old daughter to return home after running away with her maths teacher Jeremy Forrest four days after her disappearance. She attends Bishop Bell School. Numerous calls have been made to Megan's mobile phone, but they have gained no response. All Megan's parents are asking for is for Megan to get in contact and tell them that she's okay. We have now approached halfway through our programme, and up next we have News Round. News Round has been specifically designed to be child friendly. The show includes news that a young person will find interesting, like solar powered cars and the latest gadgets. The presenters in the programme speak very enthusiastically about the subject they have to present to keep the younger viewers engaged. If a presenter speaks as if they are giving a lecture, then there's less of a chance that a young person is going to stay engaged for long. Here is our example of this style of news. frogs ever. Only 135 of them have actually been spotted. Have you ever wondered what it's like to travel five times faster than the speed of sound? British engineers have recently been working on a project where normal everyday people can get from the UK to Australia in just a few hours. The British company behind it, Reaction Engines, called it the biggest breakthrough since the invention of the jet engine. Next we have punch for the purpose of this programme is to get people more interested in wildlife and nature and it's informative to those who are already interested. Presenters are enthusiastic about talking about nature and wildlife to gain people's attention and to hopefully get the new viewers more interested. 
The lack of Mind Studio shows the presenter is out there with the nature and is really involved. Here is an example of this informative yet interesting start of presenting. Over the last few years, the number of British garden birds has been on the decline. This is due to a mixture of diseases and generally nowhere for the birds to nest properly. Many projects have been set up all over the, all over the UK in order to try and count the amount of British garden birds. People are being urged to try and encourage birds to visit their gardens and for them to try and count how many birds visit their garden. We want you to join in with this nationwide project and help aid the research being done into this decrease in British garden birds. This ranges across a variety of birds like robins, sparrows and even pigeons. Try to encourage birds to visit your garden, install accessible bird baths, hang up bird feeders and build bird houses. All of these three things can help encourage birds to want to stay in your garden and hopefully get the population of British garden birds to on the increase. And lastly we have Trisha. The show has a very serious tone because it is dealing with people's real life problems and if it's not handled sensitively enough then it can cause some problems and upset. The set is simple with a stage and chairs for the guests to sit on. The set is simple so that it doesn't count as a distraction. The presenter must be honest and be able to speak the truth and also it must be loud so that the guests and the viewers won't lose interest. So that if there is any arguments on stage, the presenter can take control again. The presenter must also be mobile so that they can get up and walk around the stage to speak to certain individuals face to face. Here is a final example of the style of presenting and where the presenter must be in control. Welcome back. Up next, we have three feuding sisters over some stolen money. £1,000 to be precise. Oh. The whole incident began a little over a month ago and now the family has reached breaking point. Each of the sisters believes that one of them has stolen the money. They have come here today to receive lie detector results. First up on the stage, Stacey on the show everybody. your side of the story. What actually happened on the day the money went missing? Well, all three of us were round at my place having a get-together, and Kate and Danielle got up and both went to get a drink. They didn't come back in for half an hour, and then Danielle only came back, and Kate suddenly left. When I rang Kate up later that night, she said she felt ill, so I went round to hers, and her boyfriend said she hadn't returned home. And this made me think, what had they been doing? where to believe and go for this drink. And then I went home to check the money I hid in my kitchen drawer, and it was gone. So who do you think actually took the money that day? Kate, without a doubt. I've always been suspicious of her. She's a complete Right, coming up next, we meet the rest of the sisters and lie detector results are revealed. We'll be back after this short break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Lie detector results show. That concludes our programme on presentation styles in different TV programmes. Thank you for watching.